Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at an issue that a lot of people have inside of ClickFunnels 2.0, and that is with the input elements. And what they don't like is when you click on an input element that it becomes focused, or I forget what the other state is, we'll see that in a minute, that what happens is the full name part here pops up to the top. Same thing with the email, it pops up there. And in a lot of cases, people don't want that on the screen. So we're going to take a look at how we can get rid of it. Now, uh, somebody uh, from over at ClickFunnels itself uh, showed me a way to do this, and we'll take a look at that first. It's not exactly my favorite way, but I'm going to show it to you in case you choose to use it. So here we have our label states. We have default, focused, and value. And when we click on focused, it uh, comes up here to the top. And then if we also click on value, the uh, full name comes up there to the top. So let's go back to focused and we're going to come down to our label. And what they said to do is just grab a hold of your opacity down here and make that zero so that it becomes invisible. The problem is it leaves this big white gap up there at the top. If you're okay with that, or if you have a dark background around here, or if you don't have any kind of a shadow or a border around your input element, then that's probably just fine and it's not a big deal. Of course, you can do the exact same thing with your value here too. And I tried doing the same thing with um, by just taking the font size down to zero, but I found it only lets you go as down to as little as 10. So that wasn't really going to do, do it either for me. So like I said, we can do the opacity trick. That works just fine. Now, a way to do this with a little bit of CSS code is what you're going to see right down here. So let's take a look actually at the element on a live page. We're going to right click here and inspect this element. And what we're looking for in particular is this element right here, which is the total, the totality of the input element itself. And then also something that's hiding way down here in the code below it, which is the label. Because what happens is when you enter or you click and you focus on this input element, this label is what moves from here up to the top. So if we click on this now, you're going to see the purple flashed here, and it says L input focused. But again, what we're looking at particularly right down here is the label. So what had been down here where it says full name moved up, and then a new full name came in right down below it. And of course, you can, you can change the text on either of these. So what we want to say for this label down here now, and what's going to happen is every time I go to click on this, it's going to want to turn it back off. But what we want to do on this here now is we want to just tell this to not display anymore. So we're going to use a CSS property known as display with the value of none. So we're going to say here, right here, we got our L input focused space label. So again, that refers to our class up here of L input focused, and then down here, a child element with the label, or I'm sorry, the tag of label on it. And so that's what we're going to say is do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to save the page now, and then I will click on the preview button, and we'll let the page load up, and then we'll take a look at it. Now here we are back to the preview page, and if we click on this now, you don't have the annoying little thing popping up there to the top. But I will show you, you do have a little bit of a white space right there. So if you can if you can live with that white space, then you're going to be just fine. Like I said, if you got any dark colors around here, or if you don't have a border, you're not going to see that anyway. And I really looked at it, and I said, can I get rid of that? And I could not really quickly, effectively find a way to make that go away. But now the biggest problem with the two ways that I showed you was that you have to do it in this case here, you would do it per page. So every page would be be here. Um, the way the other way of doing it with going in here and doing the opacity thing, well then there you're looking at that per every element, you'd have to come in and change that per element. And so if you want to do it per element, you do it with the opacity. If you want to do it per page, per funnel page, per standalone page, blog page, whatever, you could do it this way. But if you want to do it site wide, and I'm not saying funnel wide, because right now there's no way to put in any kind of HTML or JavaScript at a site wide level, the only way you can do it is at a 
uh, I'm sorry, there's no way to do it at a funnel-wide level. There's only the ability to do it either on an individual page or on the entirety of the site, the entirety of the workspace. So I will show you how to do it on the entirety of the workspace in case you want to get rid of it for every single element on every single page inside of your workspace. And here it is. It's pretty simple. Let me show you how to get here. You just come to your site overview page and you click on these three dots. We go to site settings and we scroll down here to the bottom and whoops, would I go too far? Here it is. We come down here and here you got your head code and your footer code. And in here you can put in your HTML or your JavaScript that you want to go and cross the entirety of the workspace. And so what I'm going to do here is these, uh, these top little bits and the bottom little bit here, that was just to comment that out so it wasn't affecting me when I was doing the other. And then let me see here, let me... Uh, pump this up a little bit in size so you can see it. So all we did is we took the code that was right over here at the bottom. We took that code and we put it inside of style tags and the style tags, these, these, this is an HTML tag. This, ind this indicates that this is now CSS or cascading style sheets inside of the style tags. So you just put that in there and then that should make those labels disappear across every single page on your workspace. So that is it. If you got any questions, just let me know.